afternoon. Welcome to the Hare Krishna Food for Life Recycling Project. This is um, an initiative that's put together with the Hare Krishna Food for Life Temple and the Department of the Environment. Now I'll tell you a little bit about this. Some several months ago, there was an advert in the newspaper from the Department of the Environment encouraging community groups such as ourselves to reduce the amount of waste that was going into landfill. They were offering grants up to $5,000 to encourage these groups to think of some initiative to allow them to take responsibility for their own waste. Now we as Hare Krishnas having a community vegetable garden and having a vegetarian restaurant, this is an ideal opportunity to recycle some of our vegetable scraps. So we made a proposal to the uh, zero waste people and they agreed and they funded us to the tune of $5,000 to implement a recycling and a recomposting of our vegetable scraps. Our spiritual master, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, came in the 60s and he was so far ahead of his time, he was encouraging us even back then to look after the environment, to respect the environment and to waste nothing. And one of the things that we pioneered was vegetarianism. We have vegetarian restaurants all around the world. And the second thing is that preparing our own food. If you have a vegetarian economy, then you need to be able to grow your own food in a simple way, simple living and high thinking. The history behind this plot of land is uh, um, I came here to live in this particular house in 1996 and after some years living here, seeing an, an empty block of land, myself and the uh, temple president at the time, we discussed the idea of uh, trying to acquire this land which was at the time zoned as recreational, but it wasn't used for anything. We went through a lot of red tape until we finally got the use of this land for organic gardening. We, we got um, oh, hundreds of kilos of squash, zucchini, roughly 200 pumpkins out of this patch. We've got beans, we've tried, uh, watermelon. We've had bumper crops of watermelon. We've got uh, five varieties of grapes. So we're really pumping along here. Our first mistake was we were just throwing in just, just uh, waste only and it was uh, too much liquid and it was just rotting and it wasn't composting properly. But what we have to do is put a, a layer of uh, uh, like dry uh, carbon material, then a layer of vegetable and we layer it up and leave it until it, the heat starts generating and starts turning it into, into compost. In 2006, we received the grant from the Department of Environment for $5,000. But there were a few conditions of the grant that we needed to clarify, so we decided to, we called a meeting with the members of the Department of Environment to allow us to discuss some of the issues that we were, we needed to clarify with them. Basically, the mission of the department is to provide a safe, well-managed and healthy environment for all Western Australians. Another key reason that your grant was successful was the fact that it deals with organics. Our Waste Management Board assesses what they feel are uh, priority program areas within Western Australia and organics is definitely mm. one of them. Mm. It's like that. So it's, it's a priority area for us. Yeah. And as far as we're concerned, obviously, it doesn't matter how big or small the project is, you've got to make a start somewhere. Absolutely. And you can lead by example as well. And at the end of the meeting, as a token of our appreciation, we presented them with some of the bounty from our garden, um, some fruits and vegetables, and as you can see, they were extremely pleased. Cucumbers, the largest, basil. healthiest looking squash I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, they look pretty good. Parsley, yeah. a few flowers, and we've got some uh, two different varieties of, of silver beet here. Wow. Look at the wow. colour of that. Wow. Yellow, that's called ra rainbow silver beet. That's fantastic. So like, there's a few holes in this proves it's organic, you see. Yeah, drill them Now we're going through the process of mixing the dry garden waste with the wet vegetable scraps after they've been processed to a pulp with the garden emulsion. Then mix to the ratio of two parts dry to one part wet, then the composting process begins. During a two week 
period, the compost tumblers are turned regularly and the heat generated within the tumblers breaks down the vegetable waste to an earthy smelling, moisture retaining compost which improves and fertilises the soil. Now we're preparing for planting a row of seed potatoes with some organic fertiliser and the newly prepared compost. So rather than our community vegetable scraps ending up in a landfill, we have chosen to ease the burden on Mother Earth with this natural organic option. It's said that with an acre of land and a cow that a man could feed his whole family. It was difficult to see all the vegetable scraps just been thrown in a bin along with plastic and paper and tin cans and just thrown out. And I thought there must be a better way. This, this is not what our spiritual master would have wanted. It's, it's just totally wasteful. So this is the result of three to five months of careful planning of soil and compost, drip bore watering system, seed selection, planting by the lunar calendar, trellis building, regular watering, weeding, disease prevention and curing. This is all done without the use of dangerous chemicals or petrol driven machinery. So this produce is safe and highly nutritious. Experts say there is 10 times more minerals in organically grown produce than the modern so-called conventional growing methods. This quarter acre plot of land can easily grow a vast variety of fruit and vegetables in a sustainable way. And the taste of organically grown produce is clearly superior. After harvesting the produce, it is transported to the temple kitchen for cut up, cooking, then offering in thanks to God, where in turn he converts this to karma free food. This particular festival is to celebrate the birthday of Lord Nichananda, who is a recent appearance of Balaram, Krishna's older brother. <laughs> 